Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to talk about one of the awesome new link data types in Excel, and that is free universities. So this is really, really cool because it allows you to do extremely useful research on universities, looking at the information such as the website, what the weather is like under the, the application fee. You can get it as a number of students, exceptions to rates, and so much more. Um, where Excel just basically recognizes the name of what you have as a university and then allows you to automatically do this kind of research on the internet. So to show you how to do this, um, first we're going to want to select the names of universities and then so shift control down arrow. Then we're going to want to go to data. Now as a note, this is very new um, to Excel. So if you don't see this, um, you might be using a version that's a little, slightly older. And so the other data, there's data types right here. I'm going to want to go scroll down until you see universities. Then you're going to click universities. Now it's going to take a second for it to load. So I'm going to pause the video for a sec. Well, it loads. And now that it's finished loading, so as you can see, it was able to automatically find some of the universities, but there's is you can see by the little uh, symbol right there but there's something that needs some finding so university of florida um just click that right there new york university that right there scroll down it says this one um doesn't really know what this one is so i'm going to skip that one university of south carolina and then just kind of go on from here there you go and then because it can find this one i'm just going to delete it because this video is purpose, solely for demonstration purposes so here we have some of the largest universities. I'm going to um, copy and paste this down real quick. So you can, here we have some of the largest universities in the U.S. And this is really, really cool because you can do quick, quick research. So university, university name. Let's just say you want to get see the acceptance rates of these universities. Acceptance rates. So we can um, just control down arrow. So Shift Control Down Arrow Control. We can click this right here, and then we can click Acceptance Rates. It doesn't have it for all of the universities, but as you can see, for the majority of the it's it's shown by field. But as you can see, for most of the universities, it has the acceptance rates. So as you can see, Iowa State has ninety percent acceptance rates. Looking at some of the more competitive ones, um, University of California, Irving has twenty eight percent acceptance rates. You can have 12% acceptance rates right here, and you can also use conditional formatting, or you can sort them as well to sort universities by their acceptance rates. Um, think of other data types that you can have. So you can also see the average cost for books and supplies, and you can see average net price uh, of loans. You can see the number of students. You can see um, the number of students getting their bachelor's. You can also see, for example, the number of full-time students or the number of full-time undergraduate students. So as you can see, now we have the acceptance rate, the cost for books and supplies. I'm going to um, delete this one. This is kind of what I was thinking of. So full time and as you can see now we now we can see kind of get an idea of what is the cost of books and supplies you can see what is the number of students the full-time uh, full-time undergraduates the full-time undergraduates you can see percent of student there's an student's population undergrad, undergraduate. I'm just going to copy and paste this form down. And then I'm going to go up. Shift Control Data Row. Alt H and P to make a percentage. Alt H A C. Um, and this is really, really cool because by using this link data type, we can see the acceptance rate, the average cost for books and supplies, the number of full-time students, the number of full-time undergraduates, and the number of student population that is an undergrad. So you can see um, 
Some universities have very small percentage as undergraduate. Other universities have a higher percentage. And you can just go ahead, continue pulling pieces of information that you find to be very, very useful. And you can see there's a wide variety of information. You can see full-time students, full-time undergraduate students, the gender of the student body, um, loan default rate, location, location map. You can even pull up the logo. So, as you can see right here, with the link data types, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It doesn't have it for all of them. So you use like Texas a and logo, um, University of Florida logo, Michigan State logo. But as you can see, here are all of the logos for the universities. And so it makes doing research like that, making a presentation or something, much, much quicker. But you can see that medium loan pay payment, medium total borrowing, miscellaneous student expenses, the name, the net price change. Um, as you can see, just tons of information, even the seal, uh, which is oftentimes different than the logo. Tuition international graduate students. You can do tons of tuition research just so quickly. Tuition international graduate students, tuition international undergraduate students, tuition local graduate students, tuition local undergraduate students, two to four years of type, undergraduate application fee, the weather. Right. Which is an additional which is an additional data type, which is really cool. So you can see here's the weather and you can see what is the history of it. You can see, um, you know, you kind of go down a rabbit hole with this, but as you can see, it's cool because it pulls a a lot of temperature data as well. So you can see the median mean wind speed, for example. Um, you know, kind of the little rabbit hole, as you can see. The cool thing though is that the link data type suggests another link data type with weather, and then goes from there. So, and once you get this information, you can sort it um, by whatever you like to. So let's just say you wanted to sort the information by the acceptance rates. And Alt A S S is what you use for the keyboard shortcut. So you can sort by the acceptance rates, smallest to largest. And um, also as a note, um, to sort it, I did the keyboard shortcut Alt a s and then s so if you so if you go to data and you go to sort right here you can sort information um so as you can see though you know it, there's some that it was able to pull data for you down the bottom but you can get a rough idea of like okay university of southern california 40, 40 has 13 percent acceptance rates other ends of scale you have i would say university with an over 90 percent acceptance rate you can also do international tuition research so, just say you wanted to see the tuition for international undergraduate students, right? And, you know, which is very, very expensive. Um, if you wanted to sort it by that, go to data, sort, and then we can get rid of this row, add a level. Sort by tuition, international, undergraduate, from smallest to largest. And then, as you can see, you have some universities that have an eleven, fifteen thousand dollar um, undergraduate international tuition rate, which is really, really which is a lot of money, but um, in line with some private universities. Um, if you're not international, but as you can see, some of them have crazy expensive international rates, over fifty thousand dollars or forty thousand dollars. So this allows you to get a quick and easy glimpse of like, okay, how much is tuition, how much is international tuition at these different universities, um, or how much is local tuition too. So I just want to kind of show you um, the power of this linked data type and how you can do a lot of in-depth college research so quickly. Because think about how much time you'd have to spend going to each individual website to try to find this international tuition. I can't verify personally if it's how accurate it is, but you can save so much time doing this international tuition research, for example, in getting these logos. Um, so, so that's it. Hopefully, you found this to be helpful. If you did, please like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. 
Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.